I just saw something moving in the doorway down there. Hayley, you didn't hang yourself, did you? Yeah. Yeah. Don't mock me. It's my time. What the f in this wall? Yeah. I just saw a leg at the top of the stairs. F***ing hell. Now you get out. He needs to listen. Are you affected, Mark? I'll be meeting Mark and Pete, the Paracom team, at Hitchin Priory. So yes guys, welcome to another video. I am now currently on the way down to Hitchin. Now this location looks absolutely stunning. It looks amazing, very old, and I can't wait to get inside and try out some new equipment. I have the new PSV7 Pro Spirit Box in my bag just there. I only had it two days. The first one in the UK. Are you gonna come and join me on my journey? Let's do it. So I have arrived. I am here before everybody else. Where the hell did you pull? There's a car park there. Is that the car park? I don't fucking know. I don't even know if my lava's around this bit. Ooh, very nice. It's very nice. No, I don't think this is. So this building dates back to 1317. So 14th century, I suppose it would have been a manor house back in the day, but it's amazing. Look at the grounds, awesome. Absolutely awesome. I don't know if I'm allowed around this bit, but I don't care. So it is now half past six. The ghost hunt is supposed to start at seven. So it should be a good night. See, see what happens. We're gonna capture any activity, hopefully, fingers crossed. Oh wow. This is, this is cool. Out here, I think it's this side. Yeah. There's a horse buried. Oh, from there. So whoever had the house, that's, they buried his horse. Ooh. Ooh, we like beams. Look at the windows and tell me what you see. It should be witches symbols. Oh. So stop the evil from coming. They were on the side of the building. So yeah, I've seen it. I've seen a few places. Oh, them. Oh. There. Yeah. My pilot used to stay here. She used to come downstairs. There'd be no lady sitting here. Oh! You always say hello to her, and she'd just look at him and smile, and you'd walk off, and you'd say, "This is what the old guy used to tell us." Yeah. yeah. And I'd be like, "Who's the old lady sitting there?" And they'd just laugh and go, "There's no one there. She's not real." Oh, is she going to be here tonight? Is she always here, or is it just every so often? Yeah. Oh wow. Sixteen and seventeens are the most haunted rooms. Do you like down there? No. It's just some sort of kitchen area or... No, it's um, south. Oh, it's, oh, I see. Oh, it's nice and cool down there. In this wall... Yeah? There's monks buried. Oh, it's just, you were telling me, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they... Didn't they find some? Then they, then they covered it back up again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me last time at the uh, museum. In there, we've got loads of shit going on. Because it goes in and then down. Oh, wow. The SLS was picking up. There was nothing it could, it could physically nothing it could map, and it was picking up person standing at the end. Oh, wow. 
No, no curtains or tables. I shouted and ranted and raved in here, walking up and down. Yeah. And then nothing happened and we left. And as the other team come in, the table that was here pushed across the other side of the room. <laughs> but I went mental, I literally went to town. Yeah. yeah, so this is picking up movement this side. Yeah. It's got about a four metres either, either side of it. Well, Mark's at the <clears> car. Yeah. You can't see him, he's got a Christmas tree in the way. Mark. Yeah, I see that. So we've got a REM pod near the stairs. We've got REM pods. Uh, is, is there one in that room near the, yeah, the Christmas tree? Yeah, in the doorway. Yeah, it's the right way. at the start of the corridor, right in the middle of Okay. So... That sounds like running. Yeah. That's definitely footsteps. Do you put a candle on the floor? Candle? No. No one. Just one of the little candles that you switch on. Or the two lights? Yeah. There's I know that, that little... That we didn't step over two loads of I don't remember stepping over that. The rectangular thing that was down there, that was there when we went in there. But that candle wasn't. I don't remember that. No, I don't remember stepping over that. No. I don't remember seeing it. Did you put that candle there That's on the floor? I just down. heard that. Someone coming Hello? Down. Yeah, there must be someone up there. A lot of walking around up there, isn't it? I was going to say, it's like coming from every angle. <laughs> Fudge. Why do I feel like they're playing hide and seek? I heard it move. Something moved. Something moved. I'm literally getting that feeling that it's like hide and seek. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Like, we're moving around and they're moving away... From us. Does that make sense? Yeah, and hiding again. It sounds weird thing to say, but it sounded to me like heavy cloth being moved. Those things that are covering them Christmas tree are very light and didn't make the same noise that I heard. It was like um. It was like a heavy cloth. Yeah. Like a, you know, like the thick, heavy curtains that you get. That's why I stopped because I thought I heard and I saw you looking. And it was well to me. It was over by where these trees were. But I just, I've just moved this cloth on these trees, and it's it sounds What's too that? light. No. I just saw something moving in the doorway down there. It was moving backwards and forwards. No, I, I saw it like from the side. Yeah. <laughs> Through here, from here, yeah. See where this this wooden yeah. bit that I'm shining on now. Yeah, on the end. There was that, but behind it, I could see a figure, and they were moving sideways, it kept rocking backwards and forwards. Can you to come me, back it looked to like door, someone please? was standing in that door. Yeah. Right? Can you go to that door? Don't worry about that little device on the floor. It's not going to hurt you. I just need you to go up to it. Where do you see? Well, Wayne saw it in the doorway. Yeah. Hang on. What doorway? That doorway. The, the door. The main one. So yeah. I see something in this one. Rumpel there, yeah. When I shone the top torch through, it was shining onto this. Yeah. But whatever it was, it was behind this, so it was sort of in that eye shot. Yeah, towards so it was the right in that area. Right side, but it yeah. was going Whereas I saw something side. that way. Oh, what something's that? over in that side. So that's the other side of us. So they say push and then that goes up? Yeah, well, that's push good. Push that again, please. You don't have to be shy now. You can come over to see us. Or various bits of equipment that you can use, to figure out how to use, give us a message. We're here with the utmost respect to you. We're not here to disrespect you or to harm you. We're just here to learn more about you and why you're still here. For fuck's sake. What? Just saw a leg at the top of the stairs. Fucking hell. <laughs> to the left side, like someone stuck a leg out like this. There's no one up there, is there? No. In the base room? No. Fuck. It was like something walked, walked from the top. From the base room down to here, it's just literally through that door straight down the stairs. Yeah. It's where them speakers are. There's nothing that side at all, is there? No. It's just a wall. It's like something walked out and then it moved his leg back. It was a black silhouette of a leg, really thick. So I don't know what the fuck that was. It's definitely some sort of uh, 
Active area, though. Oh, I've finally got a word, past. Past as in P-A-S-T. No, P-A-S-S-E-D, as in passed away. Why did it sound like there was a noise? Fuck off. Wow. They got the same one, two different apps, same word. Did you hear that, Mark? Wow. It sounded like a noise came from over there. I thought I saw something move. No, it sounded like someone went... You had dead and I had living, and both me and Mickey just had passed. And I've had Come up on two separate apps on ours. Spirits walk, I've just got. Are you walking down there now? Are you coming down the stairs? Walk towards us. Come and say hello. Can you bang something for us, please? Thank you. Sure. What's that? I've sure. Got sure. Wow. Is that yours? Yeah. yeah. So I've asked for them to do something, it said sure. And Jason. Is that you, Jason? Can you set that off again, please, if it was? So you're a rimpot, Mark? Yeah. yeah. Don't be afraid of the person coming over to you. Can you set that off again, please? Where is it, in there? Go yeah. in, and then look to... If you turn around the corner, you'll see it on the floor. Oh, yeah. That's nowhere near anything. I oh, will flash the lights. It did flash the lights in there. Yeah. And, and I don't know. Can it can make you... a bang, and it went sure. Yeah. Did that. Wow. So this is starting to make sense now. Now we're starting to get somewhere. What was that? This, that's this side. I've been walking back, it's not gone off at all. Yes, I mean, something's there. Was that your thing? Yeah, but up yeah. to the point that went off, you, you were over that side and then came to here. Yeah. You haven't gone right down to no, it. No, I've got anywhere near it, no. Hear the footsteps I got. We'll make some footsteps. Come on, we want to hear you, please. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we heard that. Thank you. Thank you. Now there is a lot of crap down there, but it definitely, it definitely moved something. Yeah, yeah. All something four of us, moved. It wasn't a footstep, but the that thing was is, something. all four of us are up here and counted for. Yeah. There is no one down there at all, and none of us moved. Step out of the dark. Stop being a coward. And make Whoa, up. there you go, something just stepped in front of me. And that's weird, that's just as I took a picture as well. I you got that on camera as well, didn't you? Oh yeah, both cameras are on that, yeah. That's weird. Come on. What was that? Oh, for uh, sakes. That was a REM It's in the cellar again. No, but then did you hear the noise before it? Like a, a, I heard a voice. Yeah. Yeah. That's got to be, in it? That has to be. <laughs> That really has but to when be. But you zoom, when you zoom out... It looks like a pair of eyes. It looks like a pair of eyes. Smudge home. <laughs> what the fuck? That's the back door. Slamming. But there's no footsteps. Why are we hearing a big bang? No, no footsteps. Unless someone dropped dead upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> well, they ain't walking, are they? <laughs> if one of the three monks that were found in the wall are here. Please come forward. Come and talk to us. That was her. I get female monks here. Yeah. There's no female monks. No, so they basically would have had nuns. Nuns, yeah. yeah. Did you have yeah, an affair with a nun then? It wasn't a dumb thing for monks and nuns to be anywhere be near mixed. together. Yeah. No. They all had their own separate abbeys and priories. They, they never saw each Actually, other. Actually, the one in St Albans. The, was that a mix? That the upstairs was the, no. The back part was the monks and the front parts were the, uh, right. the nuns. But they so, wouldn't have been able to they get together. They were still separate though, weren't they? Yeah, by just the door, basically. Yeah. yeah. It's the way through to the church. They had their own church on site and it's like Westminster Abbey. It's beautiful. When I walked up the stairs, I got up to the first flight of stairs and the chest pains. I had to hold my breath to get to the third floor and then run back down because I couldn't hold my breath any longer. I let you walk in. back. Walk back. You want me to walk back? The guy who owned the house. So right. look up died, and walk back. Right, I'll well, go down here then. Right. So then it's passed to the other side. Yep. Right. I presume it was you that was walking to. Well, I just left there, haven't I? See my shadow. Oh, wow. 
Right, so we've got a couple there. Okay, so he's got, they're going to show themselves to you in a shadow. Okay. Yeah. To inherit the whole house. Yeah, it's always the man that's actually. I'm having fun. Is that what you've she got? got? Yeah. So he's having fun with us then? Yeah. Sinister. Playing games. Curse. Stay here. Okay, so you're in the right place then? Yeah, it's so somebody to sit here. Well, I'll sit here then. <laughs> Can you tell me where to stop? I'm going to wander around. Are you putting everybody in a position that you want them in? Seems to be. I like that. Right, come on. On one of these devices that we've got, tell me where to stop. Um, what was that? I don't know. That's a weird beeping. Yeah. Is it? Oh. Oh, the meter's gone. Red. The flux has gone red. I mean, something over that side. Over yeah. this side? Towards you, you guys, yeah. Again. That's the red again, isn't it? Yeah. Since I moved over here, it's yeah. going off a lot more now. Yeah. Was okay. I in the way? You know what? My chest is hurting. Do you like that? If you do, can you set it off again? There you go. <laughs> is it the same same Four side? Huh? <coughs> is it the same area it's going off? Yeah. Where's it? What direction is it? Does anyone know what forty fiction is? Oh. That's like fortified, isn't it? Could be. That's fortification. Yeah. Oh, it's to strengthen. Yeah. Refined. Right. It's literally just walking around it, isn't it? You having fun there? It's the left side from when I've just seen. Fun? I'm using. I like using this. Is that what it just said? Yeah. Is that the one we used at Langlock? Other side. In Yeah. I like using this. Put Mickey in 16. Because right. it's the worst one. Yeah. We've got 17. <laughs> I'm happy with I'm going to go down to 7. Because I've never been in there. Oh, I want to go in there. There's a demon room you're on about. It's a horrible thing. 16. You... Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll go in 16. <laughs> so we're on break. We're just setting equipment up for the next vigil. And Mark is taking me up here to room 16, I believe. Is that right? Room 16, which is apparently not very nice. No. So you've got 16, 17. Wow, that's hot. Yeah. My god, that. They've got the windows open. Hello. Hola. It feels like the, the radiators are on. That's, that's ridiculous heat. Wow, I'm gonna I drip in here. I slept here. What well, actual after visual? After <laughs> And I I had to leave. Out here, I had the doors closed, I had equipment in that room. Right? Yeah. And things out here. And it, all you could hear with the door closed, this light was on, so I've seen shadows come on the door. All you can hear is this. Oh wow. And I thought at four o'clock in the morning I say I'm going on. I've never been here. This is really old part. Mm -hmm. Is that where you're going, isn't it? I'm going to stay in this one. This one, yeah. I was meant to stay here tonight in this room. Oh, was you? This is cold, isn't it? But the duty manager phoned in sick, so I'm not allowed to stay. Oh, because there'd be less people on site? Yeah. Oh. Fair play. Enjoy, mate. Enjoy enough. Alright. Uh, seven, 16. Yeah, 16 is up here. Apparently, it's a horrible. I've not been in any of the rooms yet. No? I've not been in any of them. Where were you last time? In the hall? Upstairs. The top music room. And then yeah. Through the music room. And then this top end. Good? Yes, it's better. Cool. I've not been in the room yet. This way. I'm now heading upstairs to room 16 where Mark couldn't stay the night. So, so Wayne is in that room, room 17, and I'm in 16. We've got the flux 2 in the corridor there and a rem pod there.
Ah, oh, something to walk in your side. Yeah. yeah, the flux just gone off. The red is your side, the green is my side. Right. So the red has just gone off, so something around your side of the corridor. Okay, spirits, we've come up to the top floor now. Apparently these rooms are not very nice. Is there somebody up here that affects people? So we've got me and Wayne up here. Could you tell us your name, please? Do you remember Mark? You scared him away at 4 a.m. We like you. Would you like to go see Wayne in the other bedroom? Is that possible? So we're scanning in reverse sweep at 110 speed. Temperature is 82.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, it is. Huh? Is that in your room? No, that was downstairs, I think. Oh, okay. You get a lot of it on. Talk about Mark leaving at 4 a.m. <laughs> Not. Devil. <coughs> you alright? I'm talking. I don't get nothing. It's going. What can you speak? Of course, it's going. He can't speak. <laughs> Sorry, it's a laugh, but that's... It wasn't like that downstairs. Are you affected, Mark? I'm going to say it's going to look down there. There's nothing down there. Okay. All right. Mark and Ness have gone back downstairs. Did you like seeing Mark? You seem to have affected his voice. Was that you? Yeah. Yeah? Thank you. Do you think he's easily affected? I didn't say I hate him. Do you not like Mark? No. Mm. You're evil. How are you feeling, Wayne? Um, flat. It's flat? Yeah. Could be because the energy's in this room, maybe, because it's a spirit box. Say, apart, from, apart from it being hot in here, I turned the fan off because the sound of it was getting on my nerves. Oh, the, the whirring noise. Yeah, but it's getting quite warm. And normally I can sense, you know, a change in the atmosphere. If something comes into yeah. into our area, normally I can I can feel it. But I'm not feeling anything. So I'm sitting over there and looking straight out the window. Yeah. This bit of curtain here, right. up like that, oh, that's, and then went down. That's not normal. And, that... it was, and it was this going down that I saw. None of this moved at all in any way, and I've actually moved the curtain back a bit to as far as it will go without. Yeah, because obviously the window's back. open, so it should be flapping a bit. Yeah, if if the wind is blowing but through, but it it shouldn't pick up from the, the corner at one at one point. I looked as this was dropping down; it was like that. Yeah, that's and it went. I can't see why like it would that. do that, and the rest of the curtain not be this bit moved. Didn't move. So you've got a device right underneath your bum. Oh, the lucky one. <laughs> stop. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you just tell the device to stop? Yeah.
Thank you. Was it someone else setting it off? Yeah. Who yeah. was it, please? I'm here. How many people are here with us tonight? You. I, I know I'm here. <laughs> Daniel. Yeah. So me and Daniel, yes. Who else? Does Daniel keep on setting the ram pod off next door? No, Daniel. No. Can you tell me the name of the person that keeps on setting the ram pod off next door? Who's this? My name's Mark. Didn't like you talking. Wait. What? Well. What? Wait for what? Mark. Oh, Mark. I'm waiting. What now? I like it when they come after you. That was a fox. What was that? He keeps breathing. I'm wrong. Getting pissed off. Mm. Have you noticed that? Yeah. This one. Huff or a sigh. Yeah. And he doesn't normally do that, does he? Here comes. Here comes who? Oh, it's the hot stepper. What? <laughs> I'd like to Here know. I come. Tell me your name. Don't mock me. Oh. No, I'm not mocking you. I want to know your name. It's not asking too much, is it? Somebody that does not. I'm like ready. You. They really don't like you, Mark. Please tell me your name. Mark. Is that your name, Mark? Yes or no? Do it. Oh. What, what's he doing? Let's see how it's touched him. <laughs> Can you leave Mickey alone, please? Voice heard. Hi, Mark. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> How are you today? <laughs> it's all for you, Mark. Do you like me being in this room? He's there. I don't care where he is. Do you <laughs> like me being in this room? Answer the sodding question. Ask him. I did ask him. I've asked him his name. I asked him what he's doing Got here. to go. No, you no, haven't you got don't. to go. Watching you. I'm watching you. What are you going <laughs> to do about it? You've got a fascination with me, obviously. Oh, sorry, am I using too many big words for you? Because you're stupid. Scream. <laughs> Count to three. Give me your name, please. One. Get out. Ooh. Two. He's getting angry with it. Three. I'm not leaving until you tell me your name. Demon. Sounds about right. Spirit. So you're a demon spirit. Woohoo. Like, oh, do we have to be frightened of you? We're coming. Good for you. Lower up. Yeah. This time you can leave, go, get out. Oh, we'll let you. Now you get out. <laughs> I'm We're quite, going. I'm getting quite comfortable. <laughs> you now. They're but going and they want us they to leave. They want to make mind up. Do you want yeah, us to want leave us with to go you? And then they're going. Close it. Are you going to come with deal us? Deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. I'm asking you a question. Do you want us to leave with you or do you just want he us to He needs to listen. He is listening. I am listening, but you're not answering my questions. What's a mess? Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. But it's like someone opened the door in my head, and like this, these things were just coming in like this, and just shouting at me, then going again, and another one come in. It was just another one bites the dust. Yeah. Wow. Right, so we come down to room seven. Do a spirit box session. Someone in here that would like to talk to us? Me? 
Who's you? Who are you? Can you tell us your name, please? That's it, Haley. It did sound like that. Never heard Haley ever on a spirit box. No. Did you say your name was Haley? A girl. Girl, yeah. Wow. Can you tell us what Haley's doing here? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nope, it's not going to tell you. I'm coming. I'm coming, yeah. Oh, it's a follow the swim upstairs. Disagree. Oh, you're a, a separate entity, are you? What? What? <laughs> How many of you are here? Seven. I heard seven. Seven. Or several. Lost. Hayley, are you still here? It's me. That was a male voice, though. Yeah. Who's the male in the room then? He left. He left. Hi. Hi. Hello. Yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Are they having a conversation between themselves? Sounds like it. Well, they're using the white noise or white light to uh, probably communicate with us. Can you ask a, answer a question, please? Are you talking between yourselves or mm. talking to us? If it's amongst themselves, they're probably listening to um, stone tape. Yeah. Residual. Yeah. But we have too much. I have two. Is that what it said? Responses. Yeah. Intelligent responses. That's the one. For it to be thirteen. There may be residual spirits here anyway. Yeah. So you would you would hear their conversation. Got, I think we've got a mixture of both in here. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to give us some information then? I know you're trying and it's really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thank you. Thank you, Hayley. What does that say? Hang. 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 Yeah, hang. Oh dear. Oh. Hayley, you didn't hang yourself, did you? Yeah. 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 Oh. It's not a very nice way to go, is it? Depending how long ago she was in the living, it could be the fact that she, we wouldn't have been in her bedroom. No. This could be part of the land. Yeah. Was he publicly, publicly hung? No. No. It, Did you commit suicide, if you know what that means? Yes. It was always, back in them days, it was always to do with like a relationship, wasn't it? Did you not marry or see the person that you wanted to see? The boys. The boys. Was the boy from a poor family? Wow. Can you say that again, please? I think I know what she just said. What? The baby. She lost the baby. Or a baby taken away. Was you pregnant? By this person. Yeah. Yeah. It's a forbidden love. Fuck yeah. you now. Wow. Mm. Did you get rid of the baby? I reckon that dad made her get rid of it. <laughs> or that forced her to get rid of it. Yeah. Or the dad did something yeah. to make her lose the baby. And that's why she and that's why she hung herself. Yeah. herself. Daddy? Did I just say daddy? It sounded like it. So did your dad make, get rid of the baby? <coughs> I know this is hard, Hayley. And we don't want to upset you. Did you say heaven? Heaven, heaven, yeah. something heaven, I yeah. It's heavenly. Many you, years ago. Are you at peace now? 
she hung herself because of what her father did. Yeah. Mm. It wasn't because of the fact that she wanted a baby, it was because of what her father had done. Yeah. Father killed her baby. And because obviously the baby was gotten out of the way she felt but wow. she couldn't. That was a, that was a full sentence, yeah. really clear, but I didn't say a single word of it. I thought it said something about I can prove it. Was I right, Hayley? That you decided to pass over because of what your father did? It's like she's gone. Hmm. Maybe can you come back in the room, please? Probably. Hmm. Yeah, so she got her story out and that was it. That's all she had energy for. Yeah. I'm sure I just heard footsteps. Where? What, outside? The sort of that way, but it, I think it was hard to tell whether it was a beat from music or whether it was someone walking along. But it was a steady beat, it was, you know, a steady pace. Yeah. yeah. Certain. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Hayley. Thank you, anyone else that was here or is still here. Well, that took a turn, didn't it? Didn't it? Wow. Okay. So, if there is a spirit here. Yes. It's Morse code. <laughs> Has anybody brought their Morse code book with them? Yeah. <laughs> Not. Uh, step away, please. I've actually done that investigation, Morse code. Have yeah. you? Yeah. Is it good? It's all right. But does it work? Sort of. Yeah. I think it depends where you are. Yeah. You know, if it's definitely. If it was known like for Chatham it. Docks. Draco Tunnel. I was going to say, Draco yeah. Tunnel yeah. is the best place. Uh, the catwalk's going off. Catwalk's going off. Somewhere yeah. where they would have used Morse code, you would have got results. Yeah. And they don't just go off for the fun of it. Drake Play Tunnels, I made a, a REM pod that you physically had to touch. Yeah. Right? Sure. It's doing the dot, dot, away, dot, dot, dash and holding it and then letting go. And it was doing Morse code. And we videoed it. Step doing away Morse from code. It. But no one understood Morse code. So we ran back outside, downloaded an app, yeah. and then Thank come you. back in and was just putting Have it in Morse away. code, like, hello, how are you? And then playing it. And the fucking thing answered. In Morse code. It went off in Morse code and was like, but we still don't understand it. Right, so hello spirits, we've come into this music room with you. And we're going to use Mark oh, cool. to communicate with you, if that's possible. First of all, could you tell him your name, please? Larry. When you're ready. We're ready. Yep, over to you spirits, whoever's here. He's at the back of the room. We're both that, in the room. That'd be at the back of the room. Okay. Are you behind Mark then? About. This is going to sound really stupid, but it feels like there's a lady standing there. There's a lady that keeps on moving here, long black hair, very thin. <laughs> if he's lucky. What colour hair do you have? Black. How oh, do you, you say that? Okay. Tell him. Tell him. Yeah, tell me please, answer my questions. Go away. Go, go away. It could be. Black dress. Can you tell us your name please? I got him. That's what you mean. That's gone up into the forties. That's right. She hurts me. So this is a male. This is a male. Being affected by a lady. That female. That female. Yeah. Is she, is From she what it sounds like. A dominant female. Yeah. The lady in the black dress. Yeah. yeah. Get out. Do you want to do stuff, Mark? 
I don't understand. Maybe she's full. What? Oh, there you go. It's behind Mark. Which? Who's a witch? I suppose a woman in the back is going to be a witch. You, were you a witch? Can't speak. Why can't you speak? Are you not allowed to speak? What? Why can't you speak to us? Ooh. Oh, that was two. That wasn't. That was one this end as well. That's what I said. That was two. Well, no, that was two. One there, one there. And then one. Oh, it's three then. Oh. I'm sure it was this one and that one flashed briefly. Definitely close to me over this side. Horns. If caught. You wouldn't get caught. No, no one's watching you. No one's going to judge you for speaking to us. So can you step away from Mark, please? Step out of the light circle. Happened last. Can you say bye to Mark? Hi. Hi, a bit late now. <laughs> I'll punch you. Oh! I'll punch you? I don't think so, that's not very nice. You might have to step into the ring. Yeah? Yeah? That. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? You alright? Yep. Cool. How was Mary in her widow's dress stood next to you? She alright? What the fuck are you going on about? That's what you told us? <laughs> yeah, that's what you were, you were telling us, mate. That was literally someone standing there. Yeah? And every so often you could feel like a breeze hitting you. That's what I felt upstairs, so I kept trying to grab something on my left side. But the window was also open, but I never felt a breeze up there. No, because there is no breeze outside. Exactly. So. It was strange, every so often it was just there. Yeah. So this breeze would just hit you. But at the end there, I said, can you say goodbye to Mark? I'm going to come into your into the the ring, and it said I'll punch you. <laughs> it's like, well, it's not very nice. I don't really know. This quite, is how it is. So, guys, there we go. What an amazing night! Awesome people. Really, really good night that was. Really enjoyed that. Lots of activity, different activity as well in different areas. Mark using the Delco goggles and doing the Estes method. Really good contacting what possibly be a witch called Mary. So that was good. I'd like to watch back the uh, what I captured when I did the same experiment in room 16 using the Delco goggles and the Estes method with the PSP7 Pro Spirit Box. And I mean, wow, what a device that is. Awesome bit of kit. PSP7 Pro new Spirit Box from Gary Golka. Awesome, awesome bit of kit. Really, really good, clear communication using that. And I do love a Spirit Box as well. So really, really pleased with how that turned out. And just as we're outside saying our goodbyes, Steve actually said that when he was in the cellar, he was in a different group to, to me, he saw two legs at the top of the stairs. I saw a leg in the first vigil at the top of the stairs. So that's amazing. He didn't know that I seen it. I didn't know that he'd seen it. So awesome. All in all, brilliant bit of, uh, brilliant communication tonight with all the spirits in Hitchin Priory. So yeah guys, if you like the video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and if you are, hello, my name is Mickey, I am a weirdo who talks to the dead. And it'd be an honor for you to join the family. And nothing else to say, but I'll see you guys in another video. See you later.